Hey everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you back to episode 19 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we just stopped here and got got ourselves the Skelch Law on this climbable wall here. And in this episode, we're going to do more stuff. And look at that, it's just morning. At the end of the last episode, it just became night, and at the start of this episode, it just became morning. How convenient. So anyways, now that we have bombs, there's quite a few things that get unlocked for us. Uh, a lot of them happen on Death Mountain, obviously, because that's where bombs are most famous. So, first things first, Darunia said that there was a great fairy on top of Death Mountain that we might want to go see, so I guess we might as well check it out. I mean, why not? So the way to the top of Death Mountain is up this way. Uh, I'm just going to blow up the rocks to see what's under each of them. And actually, there's five rupees there, so that's slightly worth blowing up, I guess. Uh... For some reason, the bomb doesn't roll downhill. I don't know why. Okay, this one's kind of tricky. You have to... It's like that one part of the... Ow. That, like that one part of the temple where you have to throw the bomb at the right time in order to get it. Oh, that was convenient. Okay, so up here... Uh, oh, did I just hear a cow moo? Yeah, I did. So you're going to want to put a bomb there. Watch go boom! And you can fall down here if you want. And down here, there is some rupees, which is very nice. Some hearts, which is also very nice. Yeah. And... A yeah, and a cow. So, this cow, you, it doesn't really seem like you can do much to it. You can throw grass at it if you want. But the main thing that you're going to want to do with this cow is you want to pull out your ocarina and you want to play Epona's song. Just like that. And when you do this... Holy shit, a talking cow! What a nice song. It reminds me of the pasture. That song makes me feel so good. I can produce lots of milk. Have some of my refreshing and nutritious milk. And he gives you a bottle of milk, or not, I guess Lawn Lawn Milk, okay? I guess every cow in the world is from Lawn Lawn Ranch, apparently. Okay, yeah, you recover five hearts, blah, blah, blah. And that's a li little unlimited source of milk for you. Uh, I don't care about a doughy updater, shut up. Sorry, my computer was trying to update or something. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. I, for I forgot the C-Stick doesn't change the camera angle in this game. Okay, uh, for this upcoming part, you're probably going to want to equip your Highland Shield. Just in case, like, just trust me on this one. And you head over this way. And all of a sudden, these volcanic rocks will start falling from the sky. So what you can do is you can stop and wait for this. Not falling, just go in your turtle form. Turtle Link, go! And during the time when they're not falling, just keep on rolling forward. But I think I'm just going to take the hits, just because I don't really care. Okay, I'll stop here. Okay, so now that we're here, um, there's this weird wall that we can climb made out of, like, wood with nails in it and stuff. Yeah. Anyways, so, first things first, we we'll get rid of these Skulchlas. There's one up there, too. They're not gold Skulchlas, so you don't get a bunch of tokens from this. What's with that music? It's scary. It's, like, all dramatic and stuff. It's like, da, 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 da. Da, da. It just keeps going on. What the hell? I've never heard this before. This is weird. Whatever. Okay, so we're almost at the top of Death Mountain. Thank God. And is it turning into nighttime again? Did it take us a whole day to climb a mountain? Well, I guess that's... I guess that's kind of common, even in real life. If the mountain's big enough. So up here, you will see Cape Horror Gabor over there. There's a bumble wall there, and there's an open cavern there. So we're going to want to go for the Bumble Wall first. Uh, three options to pick. I pick the Bumble Wall. Watch it go boom. And in here, this is a great fairy's fountain. And she's going to give us a little something nifty after we play Zelda's Lullaby for her. So let's do that right quick. Right quick. Basically, anytime you see a Traveler symbol, it's a cue to play Zelda's Lullaby. Uh, it's a recurring theme throughout the game, so get used to it. Get used to it or die. No, I'm just kidding. 
Oh my god, it's a transvestite. What the hell? This is... Ugh, oh my god, how can they put this in a Zelda game? Pointy boobs. Welcome, Argon. I am the great fairy of power. I'm going to grant you a sword technique. Receive it now. Okay then. Um. Yeah. Oh, where, look at where it's coming from. Oh, that's not very nice. And with that, we get. Huh. <gasps> you mastered the secret sword technique of the spin attack. Hold B to hold B to charge your weapon. Release B to unleash a wave of energy with your spin. If you want to release energy without charging your weapon, just rotate the control stick once and press B for a very effective quick spin. When you charge power for a spin attack, magic power will be consumed. Pay attention to your green magic meter. Hey boy, you're a messenger of the royal family, aren't you? Next time you're in the neighborhood, you should drop in on a friend of mine who lives by Hyrule Castle. She'll surely grant you another new power. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. Yeah, so she gave us a little interesting clue there, and no, we're not ever going to come back here again. Well, now we have a green magic meter right under our hearts. And as you can see, you can charge your sword up like this, and release a spin attack. And it consumes a little bit of magic, and you can now find jars to refill your magic from, like, cutting grass and killing enemies and stuff. So that's nice. Uh, we, could, we could actually do a spin attack before, but now it's just more powerful. Uh, you can hear a gold sculpture down there. No, wait, that's just a normal sculpture. I was good. I was about to say something that would have been kind of spoilery. So, anyways, this area down here. This is an area that you're probably not going to want to come to, as as a, as, well as you are equipped right now. But just for the sake of this, since you st still can do some stuff here, I'm going to do it. All right, it's so hot in here. We can't stay here for long. Yeah, I know, Navi. Basically, the time that you can stay in here is determined by how many hearts you have. And yeah, so there's a gold sculpture in there, and bef and there's a little bit more that we can do in here, but we're gonna go ahead and leave first. And you know what? Let's make it daytime, just cause I, I don't, just cause I don't like it, like nighttime, cause it's hard to see. It's really annoying. Okay, and just watch the sunrise. Ooh, that was quick. Okay, so we're actually gonna go back in there, cause there's one more thing we can do in there, and. I don't actually have a fairy in a bottle, as you probably no doubt know, so I might die in th doing this, so just be weary of that. If I die, I will show it. Don't worry, I'm not one of those people who just cuts out everything until they get it perfect. Okay, so we have to do this quick here. We only have 44 seconds left. So you want to come over to this wall, and you want to drop down. Oh my god, no! 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 Well, that's a first for me. Okay, um... Ah, oh, jeez. You know what, I'm just gonna drink some milk just to plunge my hearts, because I think the time you have in there is determined by your remaining hearts, not your total amount of hearts. So just in case we're gonna do that. And now we're gonna go ahead and try this again, and hopefully not screw up, because uh, we don't have much time left in this video as is, so this will probably be the last thing that I do. Okay, so let's see here. So you want to drop off? <laughs> Am I dropping off the right wall? Like seriously? Okay, uh, I'm just gonna check this theory to see if it is the remaining heart because I don't really have 48 seconds to come in here. Yeah, 32. That's not enough time. Ah. Oh. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna try one more time. I'm drinking this milk and you can't stop me! Man, my commentary is so bland today. It's just been explaining basically what the game's about. But I guess when you're doing a let's play, that's kind of what you have to do sometimes. And I guess this is just one of those times where I can't think of anything to say, so I'm just talking about the game like I normally should. Okay, is the wall over here? I don't know. Okay, no. Wow. Yeah, okay. Um... Let's try. 
Last try, we have less than, we have like 50 seconds before the time goes, and I don't exactly remember where I'm supposed to be dropping down here, but, I don't know, let's try here, I guess. There it is, oh my god. But do I have enough time now? I doubt it. With all my heart, I do doubt it. And there's a piece of heart there. You can't, you shouldn't normally come down for this until later. But, I'm gonna get it right now. And no, I'm not gonna get it out of here in time. Damn it. I'm gonna die. Holy shit, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get a game over, you guys. I really am. Oh my god. 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 Oh my